Hello everybody, welcome back to another vlog on Canadian Sia, my YouTube channel. And today's trip is all about um, making sure that you're making good financial decisions and good economical decisions for your household while you are in shopping in Canada. So today, as you can see in the background, we are going to be going to a place where you get the best deals on fruits and vegetables in Ontario, Canada. Especially, in, I mean, I, I believe this, uh, this branch called No Frills right there is uh, pretty much everywhere in Canada. I might stand corrected, but it's definitely very popular in Ontario and Canada, in Ontario, Canada, to come to this place to get some really good bargains on fruits and vegetables and your daily grocery shopping. Now, keep in mind, there's a lot of other retailers out in, um, in Canada, but the idea behind No Frills is that their slogan is, we won't, well, won't be beat. And that's the whole idea with, uh, with No Frills is that you get some really good bargains, you get some really good deals out here. And, um, and you know, it's, it's good shopping in bulk here for the family. You can always, well, maybe not in bulk, but it's just good for, especially for fruits and vegetables. Cause you get some really, uh, you get some really, really good deals out here in, uh, you know, if you want to buy some fresh fruits and vegetables. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of fruit shopping in at No Frills. So let's check out No Frills. And uh, again, make sure to keep watching this vlog till the end because what you will do uh, and what you will learn from this vlog is that there's lots of choices in, in, uh, in making some uh, purchase or grocery shopping in Ontario, Canada. And one of the things that I want all of my viewers to gain and, and to learn uh, is is that uh, is how do you go about making in, in these infl inflation inflationary times how about go, uh, going and making some good financial decisions for your family so that you're able to save that extra money to you know do whatever you want in life to plan well so one of the things that you do on a regular basis is shop uh, for groceries and and for fruits and vegetables so uh, being able to do that at uh, at places where you get some good deals is always it's always a good decision. So again, let's go ahead and head into No Frills and do our daily shopping um, for some good bargains. Let's go. So there you go, everyone. We're inside No Frills right now and we're just doing a little bit of shopping. Let's see, I'm trying to get some fruits and vegetables from my home. As you can see, there's lots of selections and their slogan is won't be beat, which means they're giving you some really good deals. And and we've actually done some comparisons between No Frills and other, retail, other retailers and other fruits and vegetable places. And what we found was that it's just, uh, there are some really good bargains for a lot of the common uh, fruits and vegetables that you get for your household. Um, you do find some really good bargains and some really good deals um, out here in no frills so um, let's go ahead and uh, and fill this basket up with some fruits and vegetables that we need for our um, for our home oh I need some oranges really good deals on well that says lime oh there you go mandarin 349 that's a really good deal and uh, I'm gonna grab this right now <laughs> Let's grab some. Let's grab some. Ooh, having trouble pronouncing words today. Let's grab some blueberries as well. That looks pretty good. Trying to find some good grapes over here. Oh. These look good. Okay, I think we have pretty much everything we need for our shopping today. So I'm just going to go over to the counter and pay for these uh, fruits and vegetables and head back home. So um, we're done with our shopping for today. We got pretty much everything that we need from No Frills. And I'm going to head over to the counter right now. Just making sure and doing a last minute check to see if there's anything else that we need. But uh, I think we're done for today.
Excuse me. Excuse me. Go. Okay, so we are done with our groceries and now just heading back. And I'm going to show you how, uh, <clears throat> what kind of deals I got and what was the total bill and how much did I actually spend for my fruits and vegetables that I brought and, and you know, just some, some daily grocery items. Primarily this place, No Frills, is good for fruits and vegetables. Remember, it's primarily meant to be good for um, any kind of fresh produce that you need uh, for uh, for your own, you know for your home so uh, let's go and have a look at how much money we spent and how much money we saved okay everyone so we're back in the car and let me show you how much uh, was the cost of our total groceries let's have a look right now so there you go we uh, we got some blueberries that was $2.99 remember blueberries are generally more expensive than that so I got blueberries for $2.99 I got mandarins for $3.49 Got bananas for $1.79, grapes for $7.92, and I grabbed a little uh, baguette, which was $0.88, cents. and then I grabbed uh, sort of like a ready-made product. Uh, that's only, that was a bit more expensive, $7. But really, this, uh, this product, all these products right here, are fruits and vegetables, and they actually cost me maybe... Uh, yeah, so maybe the, the total cost of my... Um, I should say my grocery items right here the total cost of my fruits and vegetables i should say was approximately 15 to 16 dollars which if you think about it it's not too bad 15 or 16 dollars inclusive of taxes approximately which is a, a pretty good uh, i would say a pretty good bargain deal on fruits and vegetables so there you go um just a bit of a researched viewpoint for you in terms of how these prices are now i'm also going to go to other retailers and i'll show you how those retailers and in the future in future vlogs i'll show you how much the other retailers charge for fruits and vegetables but for fruits and vegetables it's pretty much um well known that no frills offers some really good deals now every now and then uh, there are better deals at other retailers as well uh don't get me wrong but in general you get some re if you're buying fruits and vegetables you get some really good deals at no frills on average okay again make sure to do your own research I'm not claiming that I know everything but I'm just giving you one of uh, you know my personal experience based on the purchases that I have made uh, in Ontario ever since I've been living in Canada so uh, based on my grocery shopping uh, I learned that no frills offers some really good deals on fruits and vegetables so there you go everyone that brings us towards the end of our vlog we're just gonna head home now hopefully you enjoyed this vlog and my trip to no frills and learn a bit more about how to make some good economical decisions while you're buying groceries in Canada. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share this content, and put in the comments if you truly found this video uh, well-researched, enjoyable, and if you learned something, and, and if, you, um, if you were able to sort of learn um, how to make, uh, you know, if there's anything else that you would like to learn from this particular, from visits to, uh, uh, you know, from my from my trips, uh, let me know if there's any specific types of questions that you have, if it's uh, related to uh, grocery shopping or, or just uh, purchasing in general, whenever you're going out buying anything for your household, if you need uh, vlogs made on certain uh, places that you would want to see in the vlogs, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do that for you. So this was my trip to No Frills. And I really hope you uh, were able to gain some benefit from this vlog. Again, next time, bye-bye from Canadian Sia. Take care. Keep trekking.